Hello Aquarius, welcome to your December reading. I'm going to pull a little spread for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Have you been good? It's been a little while since I've done a reading for you, but um, let's just move on without any further ado. Let's pull spread. I'm going to pull a new little spread, new positions, and we'll just see how it goes. Let me know if you like it, this, uh, this particular spread. Let me know what you think. All right. Aquarius, how are you feeling right now? How's Aquarius feeling right now? All right, we got the Page of Swords. So maybe you're feeling a little bit like a student, feeling like you're investigating things, searching out information. Could be, yeah, you're like looking for, and the Page of Wands popped up for me. Ooh, Aquarius. Looks like the cards want to talk. You got a lot of cards popping out, but I'm going to pull these up from the ground. <laughs> from the ground. I think I'm outside. From the floor. Sorry about that. So Aquarius, what's the, re what's the reality of your situation right now? How do things really stand for you, Aquarius? What's your reality right now? All right, you got the Emperor. You actually got two cards. You got the Emperor and you got Temperance. So two major Arcana cards coming out for you for how you, the, for what the reality of your situation is right now. And that's pretty, pretty heady stuff right there. The Emperor card says that you are upping your game in some way. You're taking control, but Temperance says that you're doing it in a really even-handed way very patient you're bringing different maybe different groups of people together um, you're getting them to work together you're bringing different aspects of your life together and getting them to move more smoothly to connect better kind of like oiling things up creating a, a well-oiled machine I'm getting that in my mind for some reason a well-oiled machine for you Aquarius that's really interesting so the reality of your situation is that you are you're very much a leader right now. You're very much being a leader, even though you may feel like you don't know everything you need to know and that you still have to study. It's almost that fake it till you make it kind of energy I'm getting, but you're doing a really good job. All right, let's see. What are your fears right now? What are you afraid of right now? What's keeping you down a little bit? Okay, we got the Eight of Cups. So some kind of fear of a change that you need to make, moving, uh, moving to a new location. Maybe you're a little worried about moving to a new city or moving to a new job position or moving away from a relationship. It's definitely moving away from a relationship of some sort, something that is emotional to you in some way. Sometimes the Eight of Cups for me talks about a difficult situation that you've been in, a situation that has caused you some suffering in some way, some grief that's made you sad, um, and you are no longer accepting that anymore. It's almost like a kind of a boundaries card. to the So it's like where you get to the point where you're like, this situation isn't working for me anymore, and I need to change it, and I need to move forward and this is sad and it's scary and I don't really know how it's going to turn out if I make this move, but you make it anyway because staying where you are gets you nowhere, right? So even if the move you make isn't the right move, sometimes making any move is better than no move. And that's kind of how I get with the, it's kind of the feeling I get with the Eight of Cups lots of times. But if you look at the card and this card in particular, you can see that um, her path is just, I don't know if you're getting glare. Okay, her path is just fraught with delight, right? She's got the two swans, she's got the dragonflies, she's got the butterflies, flowers, birds, this is spirit leading you along and while the moon is up there in the sky, um, kind of lighting the way, and, and the path ahead seems kind of dark, it's enchanted. So, yes, making a move 
is the right move, even if you don't really quite know what the outcome is going to be. That's your fear right now is making that move. What's coming towards you? What's coming towards Aquarius right now? What's coming towards Aquarius right now? Okay. Queen of Cups. Very nice. Queen of Cups. I like it. All right, so what's coming towards you is a renewed sense of self-love. The Queen of Cups is very psychic too. Some of you may be getting in touch with your inner spirituality, your inner third eye, your intuition. Queen of Cups is very intuitive. Queen of Cups, some um, tarot card readers like to interpret the Queen of Cups as Scorpio. I personally see her as Cancer. Um, so you could be dealing with a cancer person. But there's also this sense of um, she's got that seahorse with her there. Seahorse represents unconditional love. So she's really, you're, you're coming into the space, Aquarius, where you're really appreciating yourself. Scorpio kind of got this same message. You're not afraid to, to just be who you are, which is beautiful. You're just kind of accepting who you are. You're loving yourself and you're getting in touch with, you know, your ability to share your emotions. So for you, Aquarius, I'm getting really you're coming into this space of being able to open up to other people or to actually vocalize what other people may mean to you. I'm getting like a mermaid song in my mind. So to me, that says singing praises. And I, I feel like that's you vocalizing what you are appreciative of or telling people that you love, that you love them. I think you're going to be a lot more open to that in the coming weeks. And, and some of it's like, duh, with Christmas coming up and the holidays coming up. Of course, this is a time when we tell our loved ones how we feel about them. But for some reason, I'm getting this is not generally your style, but you're going to maybe make a confession of love. It doesn't have to be romantic love, just a confession of like, I appreciate you very much. And you're just going to be open with that, that feeling. Okay, what's your advice? What's the advice? Uh, as we move through the next couple weeks. What's the advice for Aquarius spirit as we move through the next couple of weeks? All right, well, there you go. You got two cards. You got the Empress and you got the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of cards popping out for you, Aquarius. So you got these two cards, the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, I'm seeing they're so shiny and I, I want you to be able to see the cards. So let me move these over. Sorry, it's hard for me to see the camera. I hope you're not getting too much glare. But your advice is the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. So, so much going on with this, with these two cards, right? The Empress talks about abundance, love, um, generosity. Everything she touches blooms, right? That's what we were just talking about with that Queen of Cups energy. I kind of feel like I said it all. But you've also got the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, your advice is to, to work hard. There might be something coming in for you, and this is connecting back to that emperor and that temperance energy and the page of swords in the beginning. So there's something coming towards you in terms of your work situation or your business, your career, your studies, if you're a student, something that's um, taking up a lot of your time in that way that will yield a great deal of abundance in the future but you really need to uh, buckle down and do the work it's really important that you do the work also really important that while you are in this loving energy that you keep boundaries so for some of you I'm getting you may be asked to do a lot more than you should be doing um, or that should be your more than it's so like you're being asked to take on more than your fair share of stuff. It's going to be important that you kind of put your foot down and say, no, I can do this much. If it's at work, say, I need, I need help, you know, let's move, you know, some of my responsibilities onto somebody else. If it's, if it's family asking you to do a lot of holiday stuff, you're probably, you know, you may have to say, no, I, I just, I, I have to focus on my studies or I really need to get this work project done and just, you know, make sure to keep strong boundaries. But for the most part, what I'm getting is whatever hard work you're putting into doing right now, Aquarius, it's going to reap a lot of benefits because the Eight of Pentacles 
is somebody who's very talented, very good at what they do. So if you're learning a new trade or you're learning a new subject or you're learning something new, you're going to be, you know, you're excelling at it. You're going to be very good at it. All right, let's get some clarifiers. I feel like I kind of got a lot. Spirit kind of like laid a lot on me with just those cards, but let's pull some clarifiers quickly. Let's clarify for the Page of Swords. Why the Page of Swords, Spirit? Thank you. The Princess of Wands. Yeah, so whatever this is that you're studying, whatever this is that you're, um, you're learning, you're doing, or you're researching, this is kind of going to give you some freedom. This is going to give you confidence that you didn't have before. Maybe you're realizing that you're yeah, maybe even, you know, I also got the the Aeon for you, which is the Judgment card. I feel like maybe you were being a little too hard on yourself, and now you're realizing, hey, I'm pretty pretty good at this. It's going to give you this new lease on life in a way, this new, this new confidence, energy, joie de vivre. So I'm kind of really liking that for you. Whatever this is, that whatever information you're um, learning right now, it's going to give you a little pep in your step you know it's going to make you uh feel invincible and and i you know i obviously i really like that but i feel like it's almost for some of you it's like you're gonna be like why didn't i realize you know why was why did i ever doubt myself before you know you're gonna you're gonna kind of realize gee i was really silly why did i ever doubt myself i always kind of knew i could do this why did I let my fears and doubts get the better of me? Um, and, and that's going to give you this, like, real, like, sense of freedom, this, like, whoosh of, like, you know, it's like this giant breeze kind of blowing your hair free, you know? I mean, it's really kind of really getting that feel of, like, this big just sense of not really relief, but this sense of, like, accomplishment and joy, this, like, joyous self-confidence so I, that's kind of really really nice it's almost like the <laughs> I'm getting that peppermint patty commercial this is really aging me and I know that most of you probably don't even know what this is but there was a commercial years ago for peppermint patties where like people would take a bite of the peppermint patty and then they would just be like "Woo! I feel so amazing that's kind of the sense that I'm getting for you being on like a top of the mountain you know in the snow taking a bite of the peppermint patty and feeling this like refreshing sense of like this wind blowing through your hair and just feeling <laughs> totally fabulous so all right anyway that's enough of that the reality of your situation is the emperor and the temperance card so really really nice um, energy right here we'll move these cards over just for a minute so you can see see the emperor there I love his little mustache of um, of twigs or tree branches there sense of fall in this card right that's really kind of interesting like the autumn season even though we're moving into winter but a lot of trees are bare right now so if you look out your window or at least when I look out my window I see a lot of trees that, that look like that and so I feel like this leadership um, energy really is now. It's how you are now. And that temperance card is telling me that the steps that you take now, that you're moving into this leadership position, it, it's, it's weird. It's like you're almost there. You, you're, you are acting as the leader the actual, for some of you, I'm getting the actual title, the actual position, the actual, this is very much like work oriented. For some of you, you haven't actually gotten the title yet or the position yet, right? Um, but it's coming. Just be patient. Um, and you're kind of, I'm going to pull this over so I can get a better look at this card for myself. Yeah, it's almost with like the dove you know the dove in one hand and then flying out the other it's and the umbrella there providing protection over her head i'm feeling like the time is soon when you will be when others will be singing your praises but when you will be able to let others know about whatever this is whatever this leadership position is whatever is going on here 
I feel like maybe you've been keeping it close to your chest for a while and the time will co come when it will be open knowledge soon and you'll be able to announce it. I feel like there's some kind of announcement going on that has something to do with you in that leadership position. All right, the emperor also is, an, is represented by Aries. For some of you, it could be I'm getting a marriage announcement. You may be announcing your engagement soon, which is really interesting. Let's pull a clarifier. I don't know why that came for me. Please clarify the emperor and temperance, please. Six of pentacles, success. Yeah, so if we're talking work or business venture, there's uh, money coming in. Oh, yeah, four of pentacles. What else? Yeah, money coming in for you that's balanced. You'll be getting what you deserve. You also got the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles in the Thoth deck, and this deck is um, modeled after the Thoth deck, is called Power. And you see this person sitting in, and you can actually see it in this deck, which is this card, which is really nice the way they drew it. You can see the four, that person is building like sand castles, right? And you can see the four whatever those are called, the towers, the castle towers, he's building himself a fort. So the four of discs or pentacles in this deck talks about creating the foundation for future success for you, creating a fortress for yourself of power, putting yourself in a position of power. Negatively, it could be like, you know, building a fortress around your heart, as Sting likes to say, so that you don't let any love in. Um, but this is not the case that we're getting here, right, with temperance. This is the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles is saying that you're building up something solid financially for me is what I'm getting. I really, um, I really like that for you. You also got the Tower clarifying that. So it's a, taking that leap of faith. That's what we're coming into, that fear situation, that Eight of Cups. I feel like this kind of goes more with the Eight of Cups. And moving away, kind of clarifying your fears. Why the Eight of Cups in the tower there? It's like taking that leap of faith that will bring balance to you, that will bring power to you. You're at that point. Yeah, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords. This is Five of Swords is a sense of defeat. It can be con it's conflict, right? It's feeling defeated from the conflict. You may have won, but the the price that you had to pay to win was just too much. Um, it's mental anguish. It's just feeling tired of the conflict all the time. And you're walking away from that. You just, you're choosing the Eight of Cups. You're choosing to walk away from that and move towards something more productive. And look, you know, you got them again. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles, another Eight and the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever you're moving towards here, is going to bring you a lot of a lot of satisfaction. So the Ace of Pentacles is a seed, right? But the Ace of Pentacles is one of the most powerful cards in the deck. One of the most happy cards to see in a spread for me, the Ace of Pentacles, because it says that something is coming towards you that is so powerful that has the potential to turn into something so abundant you know the tiny seed grows into the tall strong oak that's where you're at right now and you have that with the eight of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles again here as your advice um, and then you know you've got under clarifying your fears is that eight of cups you know that working hard that moving away from whatever situation you're in and moving towards this ace of pentacles may require hard work but it's going to yield an amazing amount of fruit and definitely positive direction for you to go into. All right, what's coming towards you? Let's clarify that Queen of Cups. Beautiful. We got <laughs> we got three cards coming towards you. The Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a victory, recognition, accomplishment, being praised. You also got the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. So you're gonna be recognized for putting up a good fight. Where, where you may have felt defensive, you no longer have to keep your guard up. Two of Swords is peace. In the Thoth deck, it really is a card of 
of peace. And so you no longer have to, you no longer have to pretend to be something that you're not or to pretend to be okay with something that you're not. You no longer have to defend your um, point of view because what's coming in for you is victory. Clarifying that, yeah, that Queen of Cups, what's coming in for you is an enormous amount of victory to where you don't have to pretend to, to like the situation that you're in, really. It's just as simple as that you're going to be able to move on from there. All right, um, your advice. Let's get some clarifiers on that advice card for you, Aquarius. The Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. What do we got clarifying? The Fool. The Fool, a brand new beginning. Brand new beginning coming in for you. S ending that cycle, starting new. So you're kind of like skipping over the world. You're just something in the next couple weeks. You're just starting something, something brand new, moving forward. Feeling that sense of adventure. And we got temperance again clarifying for you. So patience. Be patient. You are also um, being incredibly temper getting temperance twice in the same spread um, is telling me that you really are kind of divinely protected right now. Temperance being the card most closely associated with Archangel Michael. So I feel like you're you're, you've got this divine protection kind of hovering around you. Temperance is also, you know, in a traditional interpretation of temperance is, is mitigating anger. So whatever, um, if you've been feeling angry, I don't know why I'm feeling like this is important to somebody. If you've been feeling angry about something, that's, you're going to be able to let that go. That anger is going to just go away. You're going to be able to move past that anger, put it aside and move forward and start anew, which is like, which is fantastic. Really, really nice. Okay. Um, let's see. I think your, your, your spread is going kind of long, but let's see Aquarius. Let's pull a couple Kipper cards for you because I did this for the last spread that I did. Do some Kipper cards. What does Kipper have for Aquarius over the next couple weeks? What does Kipper have for Aquarius over the next couple weeks? High honor. Something's coming in for you, Aquarius. It's going to bring you a lot of recognition. There's that Six of Wands again. What's coming towards you? So, you know, I'm going to put that here because. That's really powerful stuff. That's really nice to see. And this high honor, this recognition, I feel is just, it's just gonna bring such incredible self-confidence and satisfaction to you. It's like people are gonna see you for who you really are, or you're gonna feel recognized for who you are, which is, which is just really, really nice. And I think it's gonna release any blockages that you, you may have been feeling, like I said, it's going to release that anger that you may have been feeling about something or other. All right, I'm not getting any more Kipper cards, so I'm going to I'm going to pull those away. Let's pull let's move these. Whoops, I knocked over my little ducky that I like to keep up. I don't know if you can see them. I'm not really sure what's in the frame. It's hard for me to see the camera. Okay, let's pull a couple Moonology cards for you, or one Moonology card at least. What advice does Spirit have for Aquarius as Aquarius moves through the next few weeks? What advice do you have for Aquarius? Please, Spirit. All right, you got you are good enough. That's what we were saying. I love that. Full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. And the energy is gaining momentum. All right, so that's what we were saying. Whatever, you know, I think you're starting to realize that's just reinforcing what I said earlier, that you're kind of like, why did I ever doubt myself? Why was I ever unsure? Um, I'm kind of the shit. I know what I'm doing. I'm good enough. I think you're finally coming into um, a, a truth, like owning that. I think you really understand that about yourself. And the energy is gaining momentum. Pretty soon you're going to be able to make that announcement, whatever that announcement is. So whatever that emperor state of being is for you that's coming towards you you're going to be able to I, I feel like it's been hidden and you're going to be able to announce it soon okay let's see from the goddess oracle what advice what what should um 
Aquarius, keep in mind over the next couple of weeks. Please, thank you, spirit. Okay, Vesta, home. Let's see. Your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Okay, now I, I've gotten this card. Definitely, I did get this card when I moved house, so some of you may be moving house. That might actually be happening. Some of you may be moving um, jobs, but some of you may be moving house, or maybe new people are coming in to live with you, or something's changing in your, your physical home environment. Maybe you're redecorating, but something's going to change in your physical home environment, That's and it's a positive, so cool. Maybe you just need to paint, get a fresh coat of paint up. All right, let's see what's happening with Nature's Whispers. What advice do you have for Aquarius, please? And <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard that was my dog snoring. Okay, what advice do you have for Aquarius? All right, you got assurance. That is number 14. I'm going to read to you from the book because the definitions are short and they're always so prescient. They're always so on the money for me. All right, assurance. I'm going to hold it up a little bit so you can see the card just for a minute. It's such a beautiful card. Um, I really like it. This card, Assurance. All right, remain steady and be assured you are doing exactly what you are supposed to do. You might be seeing small signs that things, situations, and desires are just beginning to fall into place. Your focus and skills are intact. You will feel motivated in work areas and therefore make good inroads on your usual work. New ways of dealing with things will occur to you. Fresh perspectives will appear, and as a result, your life will move towards harmony and balance. Trust yourself. You have everything you need. 